hello youtube i hope everybody is doing fine and today i just want to make a short video about my oled scope which is this little guy here connected to my oled track uh, some viewers might remember this one <coughs> i'm sorry that is uh, i think oops uh, I made it in 2017. I do have a light on top of my phone, as you can see the, in the mirror here, shadowing, mirroring. Uh, anyway, but before we get to this, uh, a little bit about, about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs, including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote, including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. So, uh, let me turn this on. This is actually a device that can load different codes from an SD card from a menu that opens up. And once you have uploaded a code, it when you turn it on the next time, it just starts up. So that's that. I will show the menu in a second after I finish this. So here I have my OLED scope and you can choose between the OLED scope and the frequency generator and with the button on the side you push down and then you have the frequency generator which is also shown here with the LED and then you have the signal here and if I change the frequency <coughs> I'm sorry I got a frog in my throat <coughs> I'm sorry so right now it's set to one hertz update you can push in you select it to or oh, i'm pushing too fast 10 hertz 100 hertz one kilohertz and here you can set the uh, pulse with modulation frequency so let's go back to 100 and if i increase it you can see how the bars get tighter as the frequency goes up and if I push it down they go wider and you can of course obviously change the frequency and then you can change the percentage if I go down and you can see the light the LED will dim you can see here also the space in between the signals gets larger obviously and then I can increase the frequency again not the frequency the percentage and then it goes wider so that's that and let me just show you <clears throat> um, I actually made the video but I had just a customer buy this uh, it does optionally also come with acrylic front and back and um, it has the inputs here 
ground VCC and then you have uh, input you can select between D9 and D2 and then you have analog output on A2 this micro USB is just for powering and you can also power it from here and let me show this here again if you select it and then you can uh, select the oscilloscope and then it's this here so that's that I do have another video about this that you can see in the product link and here I want to show you how this works although it's uh, quite old well not old but uh, it's been a few years so here you have the reset button if I hit the reset button and turn it on and that was wrong oh I forgot it's not that reset it's not the reset button the I have to push this one in that's what you get and right now it's loading the main menu app from the SD card This is the animation and here are the codes I'm um, going over here which you can select here these are all uh, standalone codes uh, saved on the micro SD card and uh, here was the scope if I push that it reads the SD card And here we go, you have the OLED scope loaded up. You turn off, you turn on, and the OLED scope comes back up again. I push the button, turn it on. It loads the menu from the SD card. And here it is again. load something else breakout game uh, this one is controlled with buttons as I forgot I haven't played with this in a long time anyway <clears throat> you see how it does load different codes so and this was uh, obviously five years old and this is a successor of the same with a two inch color display integrated new pixels and whatnot and <clears throat> this one has also apart from the Rotary encoder touch so anyway if you are interested or do have questions about this please leave them in the comments and this will ship out today thanks for watching and take care everybody me again sorry I forgot my uh, ending words I wanted to thank everybody who supports me either by Patreon, also PCB Way of course and Banggood with their products and um, if you do like this video please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you can also support me by going to my store buying something or donations or buy me coffee and I will greatly greatly appreciate that and um, if you have any questions about these two please leave them in comments and i make separate videos about those oops sorry hit my camera uh, i will make a separate video on those to show you their features if you're interested anyway thank you and have a great weekend bye